you're watching timeanddate.com. On August 21st, we'll be bringing you interviews and reports from across the United States. Our principal focus will be on a football stadium at Western Kentucky University in Bowling Green. And reporting from there for timeanddate.com will be the Eclipse evangelist, Theo Wellington. Theo, thank you for joining us today. Yeah, good day. Hey, good day. And um, well, could you, uh, you, you describe yourself as an Eclipse evangelist. Um, can you tell us uh, what, what does an Eclipse evangelist actually do? Well, about a year ago, I decided that uh, there wasn't a lot of interest or knowledge that this event was coming in the greater Nashville, uh, southern Kentucky area, other than Hopkinsville. So I started going traveling just to visit small towns and stop at the library, the Chamber of Commerce, places like that. And I would say first, um, this amazing Great American Eclipse is coming. And I always carried a map because most people had heard that there was this thing going on in Hopkinsville, but they didn't know they were also in the path. So I had a map that I'd made up that showed kind of more locally where the center line was, how long the eclipse lasted at select locations. And a lot of them were really surprised to find out that they were actually in a very, very good place. At what point did the buzz really begin to build? I think uh, somewhere in the midsummer, the conversation shifted from, oh, wow, there's an eclipse coming, to, oh, my gosh, there's an eclipse coming. What can you tell me about it? Um, where should I go? What can I do? What do I need? And that's where we would say, well, the first thing you need, and luckily they're cheap and easy to find, are a pair of eclipse glasses. Because you can never, ever, ever look directly at the sun. So we want to have these so that you can look at the sun and enjoy doing it. Yes. If people don't have eclipse glasses at this stage, um, what should people do if they want to get hold of some eclipse glasses? Uh, first, check with your local library. Uh, check with your local solar system ambassador. That's a fun thing to say, but that will help them also to, to connect with their local folks. And you can find that on NASA's website. Also, Theo, could you uh, could you? Tell us uh, what is going to be happening at this uh, football stadium at Western Kentucky University on the day. So Bowling Green, the city, sits right on the edge of the path of totality. And we had so many students that are outside that path that we wanted to invite them into the stadium in order that they could see totality because to be at 99% is just wrong. And so we've invited schools to just bring their schools down and the stadium is reserved for them that day. And uh, finally, Theo, for anybody who's going to be in the Bowling Green area or anybody that's going to be coming down the interstate to that part of the world, but, or in fact, anybody that's going to be traveling to the path of totality on August 21st, um, what's your advice for those people? Uh, my advice is that first, if you can, make arrangements to visit a friend, a family member, somebody who lives in the path of totality and have a place to go. And if you're lucky, have a place to go on Saturday or Sunday. If you've got to drive in Monday, make sure that you've got water because if it's a good day like it will be, it will be 90 degrees. It will be hot and probably humid. So have stuff and then have food. Just be aware of the traffic, so have your you know, GPS and everything, know where you are, and listen to the local broadcast because the local um, departments of transportation are going to try really hard to give you good advice. There are lots of viewing sites, so check with the local chamber of wherever you're trying to get to. There's lots of parties going on, almost every town. So if you find you're not going to reach wherever you wanted to, just find the nearest small town, stop in, and they're going to be uh, good hosts and have a good time with you. Don't forget that you can follow the entire eclipse live on timeanddate.com. We'll have telescope feeds, we'll have maps and animations, and we'll have interviews and reports with Theo and all of our other fantastic correspondents across the United States. That's the great American eclipse, Monday August 21st, live on timeanddate.com.